We signed a Spaniard. What is going on, guys? Thank you for joining. We're back for another episode of Creating a Legacy with FC United of Manchester. I hope you are all well this evening. Please let me know in the comments how are you. Um, so yeah, we brought in 56 capped Spanish right back Alvaro Ab Albeloa, the former Liverpool, former Real Madrid, former Champions League winner. Um, he played 160 times for Real Madrid. So, yeah, um, he's only got strength of one, pace of two, agility of two. Um, he's coming as a backup, guys. He's on £500 a week. And um, his experience is going to be vital in such a, a team which is full of lack of um, experience. So, delighted to have him in. Absolutely delighted. And as I said, I wanted someone who could throw the ball long. Um, as a replacement for Mills. So, these guys are going to rotate. They're going to rotate. But let's go on the schedule. So, here we are, guys. So, you were with us for the Blackpool. 3-2 victory, and it was amazing. And we followed that up by beating Wigan 2-1 in the Capital One Cup. Oh, I was I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Followed up by a 4-2 victory over York before a 2-2 away to Gillingham. Um, that was followed by a 2-0 victory at home to Stevenage. And uh, what's going on? What is going on? We started the season... In a way I never, ever could have expected. Um, that was followed up by a 1-0 defeat to Swansea. Premier League Swansea in the second round of the Capital One Cup. Um, the goal wasn't really worth... Actually, the goal was a beauty. Um, there wasn't really much else to talk about, I was going to say. I'll show you the goal from Leonardo Suarez. So it was a set piece. Comes headed out um, and bang. I mean, if you're going to concede, that's the way to do it. Um, so, yeah, um, but we followed that with a 3-0 victory and again a sellout. The stadium's still in development. I, do you know what, I think I said last episode, I didn't get a message. Um, so, I have no idea what they're doing. Maybe they put, ah, ah, planned extension. 1,750-seat tourist conversion. Ah, now I know. As ah, so we're getting more seats, then we'll be back up to the full capacity, and hopefully we can sell out some more. I mean, can we go through the home games? Um, In the league, sorry, here we go. S not a sellout. Right, sellout. Sellout, sellout, sellout. Um, not a sellout against Rochdale in the Johnson's Paints, but we went through. So, you will see. Um, Capital One Cup. We got to the second round. They said, don't be outclassed. That should be more than 55%. Um, Johnson's paint. They said, don't be outclassed. We got through to the second round there as well. Knocking out um, Swansea. It's not... That's what I wish. Knocking out Rochdale. Fight bravely against relegation in the league. We're only five games in, so let's keep looking here. Wrexham, are we playing to have two points? We have 13. So we're now 11 points clear of relegation zone. That's what we need to be checking for now. Um... We are not good enough. We're not in the position. We are not solid enough to be dreaming of promotion. I just genuinely don't think it's going to happen. I mean, could it happen? Yes, definitely. Um, but at the minute, I'm... <laughs> am I dragging myself back? Possibly. Um, I don't want to get too excited, guys. I hope you understand. I don't know how else to explain. I don't want to get too excited. But... Tony Gomez, he's away on international duty in a minute, but five games, ten goals. I mean, wow, wow, wee, wow. Um, but look at this, though. Jamie Adams, backup striker, two games, two goals. Carl Shaw, one game, two goals. Our strikers are scoring. Assists, five assists for Zach Mills, our right back. The guy who we didn't even know if we should keep. The long throw specialist is getting the assists. Um, three assists for Billy um, Waiters, two for Ryan Lloyd. Um, who I'm going to come on to. Um, average rating, 8.9 for Shaw. 8.7 for Gomez after five games. I mean, wow wee wow woo. Under the transfers, though. So, since you were last with us, I said we had some loan deals and stuff getting sorted. First guy we signed was Ryan Lloyd. I'm really, really happy with him. A left winger. Someone who I wanted to bring in. He has struggled slightly with injury since he's come in. That's why he's only played a couple of games. But, he's done well. Um, the next signing was Tim Jarvis, a backup attacking midfielder, central midfielder. Um, really happy with him. I think he's going to be a good player. 
The next one you can play centre back, defence midfield and midfield. It is Stuart Holland. Great player to have in. Um again he's played in the both cups, Cap One Cup and Johnson Payne, hasn't featured in the league. Then we've showed you Arbor Lower. So the tactic we're going with, we're still going with the solid tactic, we're still going there. Um Pepe Castano, it's a head injury, am I right? It's a wrist injury. Um too much playing with himself, but he's good enough to play in the team with that injury. I mean just get on with it. Um so to make sure the team set up how I wanted it to be, Sibson, um, I was thinking of giving... You see, Sibson, he's one half star. They say he can't play there, he shouldn't play there. Um, basically, don't don't play him there. He's Bosnia, absolutely Bosnia, 7.56 current. Um, unbelievable. And Ryan Williams, again, he's just, I mean, how old is he now? He's 30. I'd just hope his physicals hold up across the position he plays in terms of a couple of more years because I'd want Simpson to be that advanced playmaker in the middle but I think I'd like to kind of keep playing more wide just for a couple of more seasons at this level um, in terms of rapport, coach rapport, where they say he's going to be good enough for, potentially a league 2 left winger in the future ok, the Van Ram conference level at the minute, yeah but he's bossing it isn't he why is it, what about central midfield, it doesn't mention that, is that because he's playing on the left, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's the team guys at the minute, I mean, I'm genuinely shocked how well we're doing, so when I'm talking through the plays and talking through how it's going, talking through um, my expectations, I kind of want to rein it back because we're doing so well, it's just insane. I mean, we won the Conference North, then we went and got promoted in the playoffs in the Conference Premier, now we're topping the league early on in League 2, I mean we're up against relegation threatened already so early on with only 2 points in 5 games, Wrexham, we're away from home, I mean, can we get a victory, can we pull ourselves to um, 14 points clear of the, the relegation zone, I don't know, maybe we can, we'll find out. The game's underway, as you can see. You'll see Castano's condition. I don't understand why his condition is down because he's got a bad wrist. But it seems to be down the whole time, but he can't play through the injury, which I selected to do. Um, I'm absolutely loving the save. The struggle is kind of raining myself in so I don't get too far ahead, guys. That's the issue at the minute. And um, We might end up with double uploads just so I can play a bit extra. Um... Let me know, would you like double uploads going forward in this save? I mean, I know um, at the weekends I enjoy watching Second Yellow Card. He's by far my favourite YouTuber at the minute. Um, and he's he does double uploads on a weekend, but obviously I think it's down to he has a massive following and maybe he loses some of the views on a, on a double upload day. I'm not too sure, so I don't... Because I've got a very loyal group of you lads who are watching and we've conceded. I don't want to put you under the pressure watching two episodes in one day type thing. Okay, we are 1-0 down. That is absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, hopefully we can get back in with in the second half. I mean, it's going to be interesting to... To see if we can get back into this in the second half. Fingers crossed we can. Um, we've had a dreadful start. Um, crew actually go top. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm just going to pause it, guys, and just um, do a bit of checking out with Wrexham. I mean, they've got a nice tactic here, which is going to nullify us quite a lot, but they're very... Um, let's see if we can hold hold our shape more and don't kind of go chasing them if that makes sense I mean I do like to, to pressure teams but maybe if we sit off and don't kind of run after them and just let them play out and see if we can then win the ball type thing I mean, this was my worry. Have a fantastic start and then come up against a team who's actually struggling and end up losing it. 
So this is going to see the character. Can we? Can we get ourselves back into this? I'm going to go for the attack and tactic, guys. I think it's actually the better option to do. Please don't concede a second. Peters. Tackled by Mills. Cleared by Ellison. Come on, right. So the, the tactic is on. We are now attacking. We are more pushing forward now with this tactic. Still Williams. Simpson. Simpson. He's drawn two people into him. Simpson cuts inside though. He lays it off to Williams. Williams to Reed. Back to Williams. Back to Reed. Spreads it to Simpson. Keep it in. Great ball in. Cleared. <laughs> Holland picks it up. Mills. Reed. Ellison. Mills. Alright. Passing around like we've got all day. Waters. Ball across. Where's it going? Oh, you are kidding me. That could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? Right, the changes. I'm going to bring on um, Adams up top. And I'm going to bring on Lloyd and... Do you know what Bram's tired? I'm going to bring on Berg. And we're going to go for this, guys. We are going to go for this. Yes, we are. Come on. 15 minutes to go. Push up. Higher tempo. Pump it into the box. Um, look for the overlap. Low crosses. Get them drilled in. Look for the deflection or the tapping. Longforth Mackins out to Archer. That's interesting. Everyone expected coming into the box. They tricked us there. Right, Renneberg. Right, come back out to him though. He plays it to Adams. Adams. Seriously, you, you, he's going to be off, but he hit the floor there far too easy, didn't he? Dreadful. Dreadful. Right, go on, get off the pitch. Right, they're down 10 men. Let's go overload. Williams, ball in. It's cleared. Oh, Billington. Billington, he's running. He's running. Just kick him. Kick him. Come on, man. Taylor. That was... That was not acceptable. Um, and this result in general is not acceptable. There we go. We've lost it. We've lost the game against Wrexham away from home, guys. I, I hope this not going to be a season of live comms getting hated. Um, oh, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Um... One, two, three, four, five. I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back for a cup match. We're going to come back for the Johnson's Paints, and that's because we're playing Fleetwood. We're one division higher. They're a great side. I think it's going to be interesting to see how we can do with them. Um, so join us when we come back for, on the 5th of the 10th to play against Fleetwood in the Johnson's Paints. How far can we go in this tro in this competition? I would like to see what we can do in it. So there will be a strong side going out. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Really enjoying the interaction people are doing with the series. And I will see you next time.